Sarajevo still bears the scars of the war that ripped it apart in the early 90s. Over 100,000 people were killed and millions were displaced. Mitzi was just three years old when the strength and courage of his grandmother saved his life. She is a big example in my life because I lost my dad and, and grandpa in the war, you know, and, and she, she carried me all the time, you know. She carried me through the woods three days, she didn't stop, she just carried me. I, I stayed without my dad and mom when I was six months old. And I, I'm still, she, she, I don't know, I grew up, grew up with her, you know, I take her characteristics of, of strong, she's very strong, you know. Do you and your grandmother ever talk about those three days? When, when, when she starts to talk about subject war, she's shaking. She can't, she can't speak more than a minute two. I was in my house and when she started to speak, he saw her. You, know, you can see in the eyes of people here, not only my grandma, you know. You can see when, when they speak about war, that's, that's pain, real big pain. Brad Collins, a Canadian, went to Bosnia to help children out after the war. He introduced them to hockey to try and help kids heal and find meaning and structure in their lives. Hockey first moved me from the streets. Before I had, you know, a lot of fights on the streets and, and stuff, and there's a lot of bad stuff, you know, in, in Bosnia, drugs, alcohol, gangs and stuff. It moved me from the street. Then I was in primary school when I first started to play hockey. And then Brad developed a program, you know, like every kid who plays hockey will finish his school. You know, education was, was first to move us from the street, you know, to not get caught in some fights and some bad stuff. Then to help us with our education, you know, through high school to university so we can become something, you know, and help kids. What's your dream? today my dream today it's a tough question eh a little bit because What's, do you, a couple of dreams already come true you know we before when we first started Bradley was from Canada you know and we always watch tapes from Don Cherry Rock'em Sock'em and it was <laughs> it was a big dream for us to get in Canada then you guys came that's second dream come true you know our biggest goal is to bosnia put on a map for hockey you know is that olympics is that european championship it doesn't matter you know just as we play hockey but we can't play hockey if we don't have ice <laughs> we have ice only once a month a ice. month month in a year and equipment yes we got from nhlpa yes. uh, last year we got 50 sets that help us Oof. A lot. What do you see yourself doing in five years from today? I'm gonna do what I'm going, what I'm doing today. I'm gonna be with Brad, be with guys, team. We're gonna help the kids here. We have to develop hockey here because a lot, a lot of kids wanna play anything. You know, they are so athletic and 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 they just want that. And it's hard to watch someone to get drunk on the street and knowing the possibility you can play hockey you know that's and we are like that our society is terrible anyhow pj stock rob zaminer over in bosnia here they are we going to keep quiet now pretty soon i think here's mitzi about all equipment all over to everybody and uh and uh, give the here it is Ice. <laughs> we have ice only once a month, a month, month in a year. And equipment. Bradley was from Canada, you know, and we always watch tapes from Don Cherry, Rock'em Sock'em. And it was, <laughs> it was a big dream for us to get in Canada. Is that something? Yeah, my stick's over there, I'm a good guy. And here's Rock'em Sock'em again, get the camera in here. Isn't that pretty good? Now watch on the back. You that there? You're in here again. I know we got to go quick. All right, Rock em, sock em's out. Edition 21 will be fantastic, Tim. Your son produces it. That was Mitzi from Bosnia. You're wearing the tie. Oh, yeah, NHL I got Goals it. and Dreams were in Bosnia and Sarajevo and gave away some equipment, but Mitzi was the hero of the hour for P.J. Stock. This is Bosnia. He's at the game tonight. In yeah, he's, uh, we got him there. Anyway, P.J. Doc, we're going to talk about it later, I guess. This is their shield or whatever. What are they have? All right, what's next?